this is the pizza parlor assignment. In this assignment, you're going to see two Google Docs that have written directions, the pizza parlor part one, the pizza parlor part two, and then you're going to also have a blank Google sheet where you're going to be completing your work on. So what we're going to be doing in this is we're going to be um, inputting some data. And with that data, you're going to learn how to sort and create functions to uh, um, add up the different pizza souls for each day and for each day of the week. And then you're going to create a chart as well. So feel free to follow the, the written directions if you'd like to, or you can just follow along with the directions in this video. So the first thing that I'm going to do is start in cell A1 and I'm going to type in pizza parlor. After I have typed that in, we can go ahead and change it to size 12 font and bold. So if you change it to 12 and bold and it doesn't change it to bold, just highlight it and then you should be able to click on bold and then it should change it. The next thing we're going to do is merge our cell. So we're going to merge cells uh, from A to I. So I'm going to click on A1. I'm going to drag all the way to I1. And then up on your toolbar here, you have this uh, little shortcut to merge cells. So I'm going to click on that and you'll notice now it's one large cell. I'm going to click back on it. Let's go ahead and center align that and our pizza parlor goes to the center. Next, we are going to type sales week of, and then you're going to type in the month, the day, and the, the year. So it, right now it is October. It is 7th and the year is 2021. Again, I'm going to click and drag from A2 to I2. Let's go ahead and merge those center align and then we can also make the size 12 font and bold. Moving down to uh, row number three, we're going to type in pizza type. And then the days of the week. So I'll start with Sunday. And then if you click off the cell and back on it, you'll notice there's a little blue box in the bottom right corner. If you put your cursor over it, it'll change to a plus sign. We're going to go ahead and drag that all the way to cell H3 and then let go. And it will autofill with the rest of the days of the week up to Saturday. And then in cell I3, we're going to go ahead and type total pizza by type. You notice when I type this, it goes beyond the cell. So we're going to go ahead and do a text wrap. So if I go to text wrapping and then I want the center one to wrap it. Now we can click and drag over uh, cells A3 to I3. And let's go ahead and center align all the text in that row. And let's go ahead and make them bold as well. So click on bold. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to type the different types of pizza here. And then I'm going to type in a number for each day of the week for how many pizzas were sold for each pizza. What I would recommend is after I complete this, go ahead and pause your video and I'll zoom in so that way you can copy my data. And as I do this, you can see I started with cheese. I'm just going to hit the tab key on my keyboard. And when I hit tab, it just moves me to the next cell. So it makes it just a little bit easier for me to type in the values. So I will complete the rest of the values for cheese pizza. And then I'll show you what it looks like when I'm finished with the rest of them. Okay, I have finished uh, inputting all the data for my pizzas, but you'll notice in this first column, some of the pizzas get cut off because the cell isn't wide enough. So you can put your cursor between uh, columns A and B and drag make it wider you can also just double click on that border between a and b and it will make it wider so it's wide enough so i'm going to go ahead now and i'm going to zoom in on my numbers so that it's easier for you to see them feel free to pause your video so that you can copy this information so the next thing that we're going to do after you have all of your data on here is we're going to add up the pizza sold for each day of the week 
and then we're going to also add up each row for the number for the different types of pizza sold. So again, a couple of different ways you can do this. You could put your cursor in cell B12 and then you could search for the function that says sum and then click and drag over B4 to B11 and hit enter. That's one way. Another way is just to type it in equals sum and click on sum and then again click and drag. And the last way, click and drag first over B4 to B11 and then click on your functions and sum and then hit enter. Once we have that though, we don't need to do that for each column. We can just copy this, this function that we created. So I'm gonna click in the bottom right corner of that cell, and drag it to copy the formula up to Saturday, so up to H12 and then let go. And you'll see when I go through these now, it says sum of C4 to C11, sum of D4 to D11, all the way to Saturday, which is H4 to H11. So we're gonna do the same thing with total pizza by type. So these are how many pizzas of each type were sold. So I can highlight cells B4 to BH, go to functions, sum, hit enter. And then this one says autofill, suggested autofill. And if you want it to autofill, then you can click on the green check mark and it will automatically fill the rest in. You'll notice it also filled in this one though. We don't need to add up this total row, so we can go ahead and delete that one. So those are the functions to add up the pizzas sold for each type and each day of the week. The next thing the directions tell us to do is to put it in alphabetical order. So now when we're doing this, we're going to start in cell A3 and we're going to click and drag all the way to H11. So in the corner of your screen, you should see A3 to H11. We don't want to get the totals in this. And now we're going to go to sort. So one way to get to sort is just to right click your mouse and then we're going to go down to sort range. But when you sort your range, we do want to sort by column A because that's a, the names of our pizza and we want it alphabetical A to Z, but we do have a header row. And what the header is, that shows the pizza type and then the day of the week. We don't want that pizza type to be alphabetized with our pizza. So we're going to click data has a header row and then we're going to click sort. When we do this, your pizzas will go in alphabetical order. And the reason that we had to click and drag over all these numbers is because each pizza, we don't want to change the amount sold for each day. So barbecue chicken should still have 72 sold on Sunday, 48 sold on Monday, if you did it correctly. If you didn't do it right, then you'll probably have 98 and 36 because those were the numbers that were with cheese. So make sure that you sort that correctly. If you messed up, click on undo and try it again. The last step for uh, part one of this assignment is to apply a color background or fill color of your choice to cells A1 to I12. So I'm going to click on A1, go all the way to I and then down to 12. And once I have all those highlighted, I can go to fill color and I can pick a color to make my background. So I'll click on that light blue. And now I am finished with part one. Please do not turn in the assignment yet because we need to complete part two first. This is the pizza parlor assignment part two. So I'm going to be looking at this Google doc with the directions on it. Again, you can look at that or just follow along with my video. So the first thing it tells us to do is in cell A15, we need to type most sales per day. And then in cell B15, we're going to type the day that had the most sales. So looking up here, these are our totals for each day. And I can see that the highest number is Saturday. So I'm going to go ahead and type in Saturday. In A16, we're going to type in least sales per day. And I'm looking for the day where we sold the fewest amount of pizzas, which looks like it is Tuesday. In cell A17, you are going to type in the best 
telling pizza type. And now we're gonna look over here for pizza by type and see what one has the highest number. Well, 729 is the highest number, and that is the parlor special. So we're gonna type in parlor special. In cell A18, we are going to type in least number of pizza sales. And what we're looking for here is we're gonna, and again, it goes a little bit beyond my column. So if I just go up between A and B, double click, it'll make it wider for me. And I, you can adjust it back if you need to. So we're gonna use a function to figure out what um, what day we sold the least amount of pizzas and then find out what pizza that was. So the formula we're gonna use is equals min, the minimum value, and then put your cursor in B4 and we're gonna drag to H11. We do not want to include the totals with this. So it should be B4 to H11 and hit enter. And the least number of pizza sales is 19. Now in cell A19, we're gonna type in the most number of pizza sales. So instead of looking for the minimum now, we're looking for a function that says the maximum. So max equals max, but then I'm still going to click and drag from B4 to H11. Do not include the totals or you're gonna get a wrong number and then hit enter. And the highest number of people sold in one single day should be 158. In cell A20, we're going to type in average number of pizzas per day. And now we're going to use our average function to figure out how many pizzas a day we sold on average. So the function is going to be equals, av we can start typing in average. And then again, we're going to click and drag from B4 to H11 and hit enter. And you'll notice it gives me a number with a decimal. So I want to round that and I want to get rid of these decimal places. So I'm going to go up to my toolbar and click on decrease decimal places. And now I'm going to cl keep clicking until I no longer have a decimal and it just puts 67 on there. In cell A21, we are going to type in Saturday and Friday difference. So Saturday, Friday difference. And then to figure out this difference, we're going to subtract one from the other. So what we're going to do is we're going to subtract the, large, the smaller number from the larger number. So I can see that I sold more pizzas on Saturday than Friday. So my formula is gonna be equals, and I'm gonna do the Saturday total, which is H12 minus Friday, which is G12, and then hit enter. And it gives me that value. There is one other way to get the same value. Instead of doing H12 minus G12, we can do the minus function, which is equals minus difference between two numbers. And then we click on H12 and then it's a comma G12 and then hit enter. And you'll notice it's the same number. So either formula is acceptable. You could use either one. And then I'm going to go ahead and put borders around my answers here. You don't have to, but if you want to, you can. And then if you wanted to, you could also uh, center align your answers. The last thing we're going to do is create a pie chart to show how many total uh, pizzas were sold by type. So to do this, you need to click and drag from cell A4, which is barbecue chicken, down to A11, which is vegetarian. Hold the control key on your keyboard because now we're gonna go all the way to I4 and drag to I11. If you do not hold down control, you won't be able to click two separate columns like that. After you have that, we're gonna go up to your toolbar and look for insert chart. You could also go up here and click on insert chart this way. When I do that, it gives me a bar graph. 
uh, but I don't want to use a bar graph so I'm gonna to go to chart type and I'm gonna scroll down until I see pie and click on pie and then after I get my pie chart we're gonna add a, have to add a few other things we're gonna customize it so the first thing that we're going to do if I click on customize and I have chart style you can add a background color to your chart if you'd like to you can change the chart border color if you want to and you can make it three-dimensional so I'm gonna go ahead and make mine three-dimensional and then the last thing that I need to do is I need to add a title there's no title on my chart so if I go to chart and access titles chart title I'm gonna type that right here and the chart title is gonna be pizza sales by percent and you'll see after I type that it automatically puts that on my chart so you do have it has an um, uh, default theme and default font size and also color if you wanted to change your color uh, to something else maybe to make it a little bit easier to see you can change that you can also change the font size too if you wanted to make it larger so I changed my text color to black made it bold and put it in, in font size 30. If I close out of my chart editor, now I'm going to take my chart and I'm just going to slide it down underneath my um, table here for my spreadsheet so that it's easier to see. So let me zoom out a little bit so I can show you what it should look like when you're finished. Okay, so I have my sales week. For all the pizzas sold, I have all my functions to add up each day of the week and each pizza type. I have my questions answered here, and then I have a chart that I have uh, placed on my sheet as well. When yours looks like this, you can go ahead and submit it.